Our other research uh, is uh, using animal models. We're mainly using a capri model, which is goat. And what we wanted to look at was not only the labrum, where there's been histology studies on the labrum, but also on the chondrolabral junction. And that's where the labrum joins the articular cartilage, where there's usually a seamless transition from the articular cartilage to what we thought was just fibrocartilage of the labrum. When we're doing our surgery for patients who have over coverage of their cup, they might have a cup that tips down a little bit. We try to trim back that cup so it doesn't pinch as they flex their hip up and tear their labrum. And when I was doing that surgery, I noted that there was a lot of elasticity at that chondrolabral junction where the labrum that comes over the edge of the cup like a fish mouth joins the inside of the coating of the cup, uh, the articular cartilage. And much to my surprise, uh, there wasn't any elastin there at all. In the caprine study that we did, we did over 12 goats. After necropsy and uh, the histopathology, we found a very unique type one loose crimped collagen that has never been described in joints before. And it made perfect sense once we discovered it that you would need a type of collagen that holds up well uh, under the rigors of just daily living. Uh, if you just pivot your body to turn on a light, you're putting a huge amount of shear force right through that area. And so, uh, you know, once you see it and understand that there has to be something more than elastin, which probably like a rubber band will wear out over time, the type one loose crimped collagen was that perfect solution where you think in your head, I wish I thought of that. I think that uh, this gives us promising hope to continue the research that we're doing in the future. Uh, again, translational from doing it in the lab on uh, animal studies and then taking it uh, to the clinical studies. We are also working with Jenna Galloway of the Simchis um, Research Group and uh, using zebrafish, which uh, Jenna will take uh, bone marrow aspirate that we send to her that includes mesenchymal stromal cells and she will um, do aliquots of, of that with testing uh, using different assays with different chemicals and now we're trying to, to test with organic materials such as proteins and enzymes to stimulate the zebrafish to form cartilage. They uh, glow a certain color once they're forming cartilage and that will be the next step in the future to, how, to hopefully not only healing and preserving damaged cartilage that's there but absolutely uh, regenerating new cartilage. You can use a remote graft such as from your iliotibial band or you can, you can use semitendinosus or gracilis tendons to make a new labrum. We found problems with that. Number one, it's from a remote site. So when you try to put that into the hip and make it congruent where it has to be within one millimeter or less with no gaps, otherwise it, it's equal to having a labrectomy where you've taken out your labrum we find that very challenging. One is that you get uh, most likely an outer round repair where you have a, instead of it being perfectly round, it's a little bit cupped, uh, and then gaps underneath the labrum. The second problem is to put that in, I have to take the rest of the patient's labrum out, which uh, can damage that chondrolabral junction because uh, after the labrum comes that unique histology that we talked about, that type one loose crimped collagen, and that's the junction that we don't want to lose. And the reason why is stated, we don't know how to heal that area. So it's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. If I got to take more labrum out and sacrifice that chondrolabral junction, I'm afraid I'm not doing what I need to do to repair that area. So what I've been doing now for about the last nine years is doing a capsular autographed reconstruction of the labrum, where if a patient has a deficient labrum, we try at all costs to maintain what they have as far as residual tissue, and then I will go up above the labrum and harvest uh, about seven to 10 millimeters of their own capsule uh, and bring it down and augment their deficient labrum, uh, effectively making them a new labrum 